Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com, and today we're going to show you how to run Ice Cream Sandwich, the latest version of Android, on your Nokia N9. Okay, before you begin, this shouldn't affect your current Mego setup, uh, but as a precaution, as always, please do a backup just in case. You never know. Also, this procedure can be a little dangerous, so be careful, especially when you're typing in commands, because we are flashing parts of the system um, in a very developerish sort of way, so things can go wrong. Uh, just be careful while you're following the procedure, that's all. Also, these instructions are for Windows, because it's kind of the easiest way for you to do this. Okay, so first on your device, you need to go to Settings. Scroll down to Security device lock and click on auto lock and make sure that it is on off. And then you can go back to your home screen. Download the flasher program by clicking on that link. Click download. And save it somewhere on your computer. And once that's installed, or once it's downloaded, we're going to install it. So you're gonna right click it, run as administrator. Run anyway. Next, accept, next. And that's exactly where you want it to be saved. Okay. And you can download NaviFirm by clicking here. Click download. Save that to your computer. And you're going to open that. Or first you're gonna right click it and then extract all. It'll open its own little folder. We're gonna open that open the folder inside there, and you'll see NaviFirm Plus. We're gonna right click, run as administrator, yes. Okay, while that's opening, you're going to turn off your device. Wait for it to power down. Then we're going to open our little SIM card drawer. The reason we're doing this is because we want this number down here at the bottom. It's a little seven digit number. You, we're gonna use that to determine which firmware we're gonna download for our device from NaviFirm. So keep that little number handy. And in NaviFirm, you can type in Nokia N9, bring it to that. We're gonna choose the 30.2012.7.1. Then you're gonna have all these firmwares inside here. We're going to put in our little number that's on our SIM tray. Just like that, and it'll give us our exact version. We're gonna highlight that. And then in here we can click on mark all. The only one we want is the one that has DFL61 Harmata, Harmaton and legacy in it. So we're gonna click that, like so. We're gonna uncheck the use product code as final path, click browse, and we wanna put this in the same folder as our oops, flasher program. 
program files, Nokia, and Flasher. And click OK. So that's where it's going to put it. Hit download and wait for that to download. Once that's done downloading, it'll say downloaded to and show you where it was. Everything will be green. You're good to go. You can close that out. Next, we need to download the kernel file. So we're going to click here and download that as well. And then we want to move that into the same folder that everything else is in, which is Nokia Flasher. Paste it in there. Sure. So now we should have the DFL 61 Harmontan, the Z image, the Flasher, everything should be in this folder under Program Files, Nokia, Flasher. Okay, now that we have all the files we need, and they're all in that folder, we are going to open up a command prompt. Uh, on Windows 7, you can do this by just clicking the Start menu down here, and then typing in CMD. It's Charlie Mary Dolphin, and uh, hitting Enter, and that'll bring up a command prompt. Here in Windows 8, though, Once we have that, we're going to type in these following commands with hitting enter at the end of each line. So see. with the phone still off, we're going to plug in the USB cable into the phone first, and then plug the other end into the computer. You'll know it worked correctly when it says this success in the command prompt. Okay, next we need to install Sillyboot, which is a bootloader for the device so that we can boot into a, another operating system. So. Unplug your device first off, then go to Settings, Security, click on Developer Mode, and turn it on if it's off. Once you do that, it's going to say it needs to reboot, needs to install things, click OK on everything, wait for it to do its thing, eventually it'll reboot, and you'll know it worked because you'll have Terminal down here at the bottom and SDK Connection Manager. After you've done that, you're going to plug the phone back in via USB, but we're going to select Use as Mass Storage so we can transfer files to it. Okay, now your Nokia N9 should automatically pop up on your computer. If it doesn't, you can go to My Computer or Computer and then look for the Nokia N9. Then we're going to download the silly boot file from here. Save that to our computer. Then we're going to copy that file to our root directory of our Nokia N9. So just like that, not inside any of these folders, just on the Nokia N9, just like that. After you've transferred that to the phone, you're going to unplug the phone. And then we're going to open Terminal. And we're going to type in devel hyphen su, hit enter. It's going to ask you for a password. The password is rootme, all one word, no caps, R-O-O-T-M-E, hit enter. And eventually you'll be giving, given that little uh, number sign, which means you have root access. Now, you're going to type what's written on our site. You don't need to try to read it here. Um, and just be very careful as to not mess up any of the letters. When you're finished typing that last command, it should show sbin, this right here, sbin slash pre init bin slash of key. If it doesn't show that and it says permission denied or something like that, just close out terminal, open it back up, and type the command again. Eventually, you should get that. Once you have that, you know that you've installed Silly Boot, and we can go to the next step. Okay, finally, we need to download the ice cream sandwich ROM. So click here to download that. 
And while you wait for that to download, we can plug in our Nokia N9, select use as mass storage. Once that's downloaded, you're going to take it and put it on the root of your Nokia N9, just like you did with the sillyboot.tar file and wait for that to transfer. Once it's done, we can close all of that out and disconnect our N9. Okay, and now we can go to terminal again and we're basically gonna do the same thing we did to flash the uh, silly boot. Uh, don't read what I'm typing on here. As I said before, read what's written on the site underneath this video and follow that instead. But here we go. And once you have that all typed in, hit enter. And it should start to flash the ROM. Wait for that to finish. Eventually, you will get the number sign again, which means it's completely done. And now we can turn off the phone. And we're gonna turn the device back on by holding down power as usual. Until it vibrates, then let go. You're gonna see this little warning Put your finger over the volume up button. Uh, this warning is going to be there for a little bit. But eventually you'll see a prompt here on the right hand side asking you to push volume up. As soon as that comes up, you got to push it. It's kind of quick. There we go. And you should see that little symbol meaning that it did it and wait for it to boot. Okay, then eventually you'll get past the welcome screen and such and you'll be using your phone. Um, one thing you need to do though as soon as you get the phone running is go into settings, go into display, sleep, and change it to 30 minutes. This will stop a certain issue that it has. And uh, there you go. Enjoy.